18 clues uncovered as we head into part 2 of my ninth game of Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis. And I have turn at the moment. I have leave with 6200. Let's finish up start with camp for 500. A hilarious joke might be described as a real one of these. Excuse me there, I had a little burp. Knee slapper. Yes. Okay. Let's go with uh, U.S. history for 400. The very first state to join the Union. <coughs> Delaware. You are correct. That's right. U.S. History 500. Between 1840 and 1860, more immigrants came from this country than any other. Rich rings in. He doesn't know it. Sorry? So he is going to drop to $200 and into a tie with Troy. Let's see if Troy knows it. No, he doesn't. Troy? So, Troy, you're going to go back in the hole at minus 300. You know the correct response? It was Ireland. Okay, uh, musical instruments for 100. Goodman's licorice stick. Uh, what is a flute? Sorry? No, not a flute. Maybe it's a clarinet. What? It was worth a try. Let's see if Rich knows it. It is a clarinet. Oh well. You are correct. Okay. New is 200. Afro-Cuban skins that kept the beat for beatnik poetry. Rich rings in. Oh, he doesn't know it. Sorry? You know what, since I have a big lead, I think I'll try it. I'll try it. So it's going to be a long shot, but I'll take a chance on it. What are... Drums? Sorry? No, not drums. I'm dropping downwards now. I don't want to do that. <coughs> Troy's going to give it a crack. Oh, bongo drums. I wasn't specific enough. Okay, so where are we going? Miss Smith 300. Percussive plates that serve up a din. <coughs> Tambourine. Oh no, uh. Uh. Oh, uh. What are symbols? You are correct. Logical thinking. It saved me. Uh, English literature for 300. Jane Silton's schoolmaster father was the model for this novel's title character. <coughs> oh man, I don't know. I can't remember. And Sorry. Rich is going to continue to play like an idiot. He drops to minus 200. <coughs> Troy? He doesn't know either. Sorry. 
Minus 400 for him. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Uh, English at 400. The hero's clubfoot in a human bondage represented this author's stammer. Somerset Mom. Yes. I'll take English Lit for 500. Ironically, Catherine, wife of this poet, painter, and printer, was illiterate. <coughs> William Blake. You are correct. So, that gets rich out of the hole with 300. Musical instruments, 400. Ravi Shankar inspired George Harrison to use this instrument with the Beatles. <coughs> Troy rings in. And he finally gets one. It's the sitar. You are correct. Okay, so Troy's at zero. Musical instruments 500. Plucked instrument brought to the U.S. by slaves, now a fixture in bluegrass. bluegrass. I'm going to say the banjo. You are correct. And it is the banjo. So now I'm up to $8,000. Now last clue for 100 in English literature. This author of the Jungle Book lived in Vermont for four years. Uh, Rudyard Kipling. That's right, $100 more for me, taking me to $8,100. Rich is $300, Troy is at zero. As we get ready to start. Double Jeopardy. Two daily doubles. You are the category. Oscar songs. The Bible. International cuisine. Geography. Flowers and trees. In history, I don't like these categories. Let's look for some better ones. You are the category. Weapons. Card games. The 20th century. P's and Q's in quotation marks. Rivers. And what's the last one? Aviation. I'm going to try these categories. And I'm going to start off with Rivers for 200. The Porcupine River flows into this U.S. state from the Yukon Territory. <coughs> New York. Sorry? No. It was Alaska. You are correct. All right. River's 400. And Niagara Falls, 90% of the flow of the Niagara River goes over this fall. Horseshoe Falls. And after I put that in, we'll stop. So that's 8,300. And we'll stop here for part two. And I'll see you guys for the third part.